Solving multi-step inequalities sounds, you know, it's pretty impressive, really moving up in the math world. But basically, it's, it's basic algebra, and there's no equal sign. There's a greater than, less than sign, etc. So here's like a classic multi-step inequality, 3x minus 7. It's an inequality. It's less than or greater than, depending on which side you're looking at. And uh, it's multi-step. It's, it's literally the exact same thing as solving in, in multi-step equality, except for if you have to eventually divide by a negative, right? Which I'm going to tell you the ending now. We are going to divide by a negative. Just a little heads up. So looking at this thing, you're like, oh, man, I'm not sure. I would get all of my x's to one side and all of my non-x's to the other side. And which side totally is up to you. It does not matter, right? As long as you follow the rules of algebra, it doesn't matter. I usually just out of habit move all my x's to the left side, move all my non-x's to the other side. So let's get this 5 to the other side of this wall, right? Across the sign, whether it's an equal sign or less than sign, you have to move it to the other side of that sign. So this one opposite of minus 5, plus 5. I can't add it to the x. I have to add like terms, so I add it to the non-x. So now I have 3x. That looks like negative 2. Right? Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. He's still here. This is gone, and now I'm left with this situation. Next step would be, because Ryan's all into like getting the x's on the left side, I would minus this 3x to the other side. So minus 3x, minus 3x, and then I get, this is heavy, 2x minus 3x is negative x is less than negative 2. This is where you do the whole, I'm going to divide by a negative and beware. I don't want to solve for negative x. I want to solve for x. So I actually have to divide both sides by a negative 1. And now I'm going to like pause for effect because here's the drama. When you divide an inequality by a negative number, this sign flips. So the answer would be x greater than now. And negative 2 divided by negative 1 is just 2. There's your answer. Interestingly, if I had done this where I moved my x's to the right and my numbers to the left, I still would have got the same answer. x would be bigger than 2. So that's the key. Honestly, besides dividing by negative, there's nothing totally novel about these. So I wouldn't stress if I was you. OK, so here's another problem. OK, I'll be like, OK, so x over 3 uh, minus 4 greater than or equal to 2. Same thing. I want to get x alone. There's no x on the right, so we don't have to like get all the x's together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this 4 out of here to both sides of the sign. And then you have 6 here, and you have x over 3. OK, pause. I actually have to get x alone. And right now, <laughs> it's divided by 3. What's the opposite of dividing by something? It's multiplying by something. Times 3 times 3. x is greater than or equal to 18. One thing that is like a little confusing for the youth is that right here, I said earlier, if you divide by a negative, you flip the sign. Same thing if you multiply both sides by negative. If for some chance you had x over negative 2 oops, is greater than or equal to 2, and I didn't divide by negative 2, but I multiplied both sides by the negative 2, you would still have that flip drama, and that would be negative 4. So multiplying or dividing both sides by negative flips that sign. Okay, I'll do one more example. They're pretty easy street, so I don't want to waste your valuable time. I know you're like cruising the internet, and you're like, you know, I'm just going to flip through some math videos for a while, and then I'm going to go on to my other, my other stuff I like to do on the internet. Uh, this is probably your favorite. So I'll do one more, and then I'll let you go on about your day. So this is like 5x minus 1 greater than 6x plus 3. Okay, so this pen's starting to fade a little. So here, let's get our x's to one side. Uh, and my numbers to the other side. I'm going to add this 1 to both sides, right? Because I want them out of there. 5x is greater than 6x plus 4. Let's get that 6x to the other side. Oh, OK. That's pretty straightforward. Minus x greater than 4. Drum roll. This is the part you guys enjoy. Divide by negative. Divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. x is less than negative 4. Done. So that's the whole solving multi-step inequalities. Uh, they're pretty. I like them. I think they're okay. Um, and remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school in this math class, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. And uh, if you pass it there, the credits will be transferred back to your high school.